Bienvenue tout le monde! Welcome everybody! My name is Hilary Aitken and I am the principal here at École Sainte Marguerite Bourgeois and I am thrilled to invite you to the Kenora Catholic District School Board Early Years Arts Festival. I'm happy to present Meryl van der Wielen and Kristen Malbrink, our artists in residence, who will be presenting their workshop, Wildly Curious, for you. Hello everyone! Welcome to the Wildly Curious Workshop. I'm Meryl, I'm your teacher for this workshop. Um, we're gonna um, look at the bare necessities because we don't need much to play music together and I'm gonna lead you through it. So I wanted to start off with some grounding. What does that mean? Be in your body, feel your body, be in this moment right here. So. I want to ask you to stand up. Stand up anywhere in your room. You don't need a lot of space. And put your feet on the ground, hip width. So there's like a foot in between. And then try and not lock your knees. So be like you can shake a little bit like this, right? So shake a little. And if you want, I invite you to close your eyes. And can you feel your feet on the ground? Envision yourself being a tree right now. You can feel the roots of the tree go into the earth. You can feel the trunk of the tree and your arms being the branches. You can even wave a little bit if you want to. And then on an inhale through your nose, you sweep your ha hands up in the air. And then with your no breathing out through your nose, you go down. And we're gonna do that again, but this time exhale through your mouth. <laughs> so inhale through your nose. And breathe out through your mouth. <sighs> you can sigh too, again. And breathe out through your mouth. <sighs> One more time. And out. If you want, you could close your eyes again and feel. How do you feel right now? Can you feel the space around you? Can you feel your toes, your fingers, your nose, maybe even your ears? And then before we get into singing, put your hands on your belly and just feel how your belly feels. Is it warm? Is it cold? Do you feel your belly go up and down? I can feel my belly go up and down and I even feel a heartbeat right now. But that might be in my fingers. Okay, so now we're gonna sing. I'm gonna sit down for this. You can too. It's up to you. So you guys all know this song. You sing it every time there's a birthday around. And I want to invite you to sing along with me. Ha. Guess what? It's happy birthday. <laughs> okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Okay, one more time, this way. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. And now, think about a mouse. When you see a mouse move, or you hear a mouse talk, what does that sound like? How fast do they run? How loud are they? And now we're gonna try to sing the song as a mouse. Hep oh, <laughs> I need to think of the right note. Ah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. 
Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. We're gonna do that again. One, two, three, four. One, two. <laughs> okay, let's do that again without counting in. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. So when you sing a song like a mouse, your voice sounds different, right? You play it a bit faster, your voice is soft, maybe a bit squeaky, like, I don't know how you say that with a mouse. Um, anyway, you know, what does a mouse say? <laughs> um, with a different animal, it can be totally different and you use your voice in a completely different way. So, why don't we try a whale? How fast do they move? How big are they? How would their voice sound? We might not do the whole thing. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. want to do that again? It wasn't as long as I thought it was. <laughs> Let's do it one more time. And make your voice really deep sounding. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. As you can see, the, your voice can make many different sounds. And we're going to move in to something else because I told you, you only need the bare necessities to play music. And you know that you can use your voice, but now there are instruments in your house that you can use to play with me with a different song. So I don't know if they can, 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 can they see this on the camera? They can. So uh, I brought some things and you can also get some of your kitchen stuff or even things from your bedroom, anything that can make a sound. So for example, this one is pretty soft. I thought I'd start out with that. I might need to put it close to the microphone, but as you can hear, you can hear that already has a sound. So that's like the soft sound, right? There are things that can make it louder because this makes it loud and this makes it softer because this is wood and this is some kind of metal. So metal on metal makes a lot of sound. And this is really loud. But if you want to make it softer, I just brought a tank top, but it can be a cloth, whatever you want. And you put the ladle inside, you wrap it around, like I also fit a Ooh, put an elastic around it so it'll like stick together, stay together, and then, oh wait, it's a different sound. So you can do all of these things. Find some things in your kitchen, like go ahead and right now, like get anything in your kitchen that you think can make a sound, and then we'll get started. In the meantime, I think I'm already going to play the song. If you want, you can sing along, you can play with the instruments. We'll get into that a bit more later. Um, and 
Yeah, and then I'll lead you through it. Okay, for now, we're just going to sing the Bear Necessity song by Jungle Book. So like a bear. <laughs> but I have to say that bear sounds more like a human, I think. Oh no, actually, it is like kind of like bear necessities. It is kind of like a bear. I'm not gonna sing it that way. <laughs> I'm gonna sing it as me, as Meryl. Oh, oops, I just touched the microphone. <laughs> okay. So you go look for those instruments that you have lying around in your house, okay? Look for the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Forget about your worries and your strife. I mean the bare necessities, old mother nature's recipes that bring the bare necessities of life. Wherever I wander, wherever I roam, I couldn't be fonder of my big home. The bees are buzzing in the tree to make some honey just for me. When you look under the rocks and plants and take a glance at the fancy ants, and then maybe try a few. The bare necessities of life will come to you. They'll come to you. Look for the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Forget about your words. I mean the bare necessities, that's why a bear can rest at ease with just the bare necessities of life. Now when you pick a paw paw or a prickly pear and you prick a raw paw, next time beware. Don't pick a prickly pear by the paw. When you pick a pear, try to use the claw. But you don't need to use the claw when you pick a pair of the big papa. Have I given you a clue? The bare necessities of life will come to you. They'll come to you. Okay, awesome. So by now, you either used your voice to sing with me, good job, or you found some instruments around the house. So how can you actually use those instruments around the house, right? Um, every music, well, almost every music, and especially these kinds of songs, have a pulse. So when I play this, you hear So you can either just clap your hands or flick your fingers, flick your fingers, <laughs> flick. I don't know, I'm not, I'm not sure about that word either. Or you could just play the beat. So the pulse that I talked about. Look for the bare necessities. I'm gonna use a different one for this. <laughs> I'm gonna use this one. So that's also something, you can try it out. Try which one you like. Look for the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. So that's on every beat. So that goes pretty fast, hey? Um, if you want to pick it up a notch, I would say use your foot and then another instrument. So I'm going to use... Oh man, I should have used a different pot, but okay. So you start with the foot and then you do the pot or something that sounds higher. So foot is like kind of deep, so it's... So look for the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Try it out. So you just have to switch it up, just foot first and then the whatever thing you're using. And then for the people that actually have instruments in the house like a guitar or a ukulele, also feel free to get those. Pick your instrument and then we're going to play it one more time. And I want to invite you to play along with me or sing. So play or sing. 
Okay. You guys ready? I can't hear your answer. So I'm just gonna wait a few more counts and then we're gonna get into it. Take a deep breath in and sigh it out. Okay, let's start. Look for the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Forget about your worries and your strife. I mean the bare necessities, old mother nature's recipes that brings the bare necessities of life. Wherever I wander, wherever I roam, I couldn't be fonder of my big home. The bees are buzzing in the tree to make some honey just for me. When you look under the rocks and plants and take a glance at the fancy ants, and then maybe try a few. The bare necessities of life will come to you. They'll come to you. Look for the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Forget about your worries and your strife. I mean the bare necessities. That's why a bear can rest at ease with you. Just the bare necessities of life. Now, when you pick a papa or a prickly pear, and you prick a raw paw, next time beware. Don't pick a prickly pear by the paw. When you pick a pear, try to use the claw. When you don't need to use the claw, when you pick a pear of the big paw paw. Have I given you a clue? The bare necessities of life will come to you. They'll come to you. Look for the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Forget about your worries and your strife. I mean the bare necessities. That's why a bear can rest at ease with just the bare necessities of life. With just the bare necessities of life. Thank you so much for playing with me. Even though I didn't hear it, I think you're doing a great job. I'm really happy you joined me for this workshop. And remember to like watch Jungle Book and see the actual bear do the dance and everything. It's a lot of fun. And I hope you keep singing and keep playing because it feels so good. Have a good day. Hi, nice to see you. Uh, so we're gonna work on the second part of our art activity now, which will be a painting activity. So my name is Kristen Malbrank. Uh, I love to make art and sing songs, um, play music and do all kinds of creative things. And uh, I love working with kids. So I teach in English and I teach in French. And uh, so today, while we're doing our activity, we'll get to learn some French words um, about colors. All right, so here we go. So today, our activity uh, is a painting activity and it's based on being inspired by nature and wild things. So let's have a look at what we have in our art packages. So first things first, we have a piece of paper here. And then we also have four paper plates. And of course, we have some paint because we're painting. So here we have some red paint, purple paint, yellow paint, and green paint. There you go. All right, so usually when we paint, we use, we use this thing, we use a paintbrush, right? We dip it in some paint and then we do our, our painting that way. But today we're going to have a special challenge to paint using found objects at home. So in your art packages, you'll see you have some pasta pieces. The first pasta pieces you have are these things. This is called linguini. That's fun to say, linguini. Whoa. Sometimes they break, that's okay. 
So we have some linguine here that we're going to use to paint. We also have these little spiral pasta pieces that we call uh, rotini. These are rotini pieces. And then these bigger pieces of pasta are called rigatoni. They're bigger pieces and you can see right through them. So we'll be using that and we're also going to be using something that I know all of you have at home. Um, first thing is, what do we have here? We have a spoon and what's this? A fork. So here's what you're gonna do. You're just in, in a moment here, you're going to go to the kitchen. You might need help from an adult at home and you're going to find two spoons and two forks, hopefully of different sizes. I'm gonna give you 15 seconds to find them. Are you ready? Ready, set, go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, do you have your, your cutlery? This is what we call cutlery. We have some spoons here and some forks. So you've got your two spoons and two forks. So let's see if we can make art with objects that we found at our house. So we're gonna get um, the parents at home to pour a little bit of each color in the plates here. So we're gonna start with red and red in French is rouge. Um, so we'll continue with the art activity and then parents at home, if you can just pour the, the colors out, that would be great. So we'll start with red, ou en français, rouge. So first things first, you're gonna start with a spoon and you're going to flip the spoon downwards and dip it and roll it in that red paint. Dip and roll and then you're going to place it on the piece of paper like that and roll and it makes this arch shape and do it again. Dip and roll and roll it on the piece of paper. Dip and roll. So we're going to try to make a field of rocks. Kind of like some of the, the rocks we see around Kenora. So dip and roll and let's see how many times you can do it at the bottom of the page here. So you can follow along with me or you can just use your creativity and your imagination and, and um, use these objects to make anything you would like. So dip and roll, just like that. See how many you can make like this. There you go. And then you cover the bottom of the sheet, roll it in the paint, roll it on the paper, in the paint, on the paper, in the paint, on the paper. You gotta turn your wrist like that. In the paint, on the paper. Ooh, now we've got a bunch of red rocks. So now let's try to use the same spoon and dip it in yellow, and yellow in French is jaune. So we're going, we're going to dip that same spoon in yellow and we're gonna, let's try to make these rocks really shiny. Like it's a sunny day and we're gonna make all these rocks really shiny. So we're gonna dip just like that. Dip and make all the rocks nice and shiny. I love that yellow. But what happens when we, when we mix red and yellow together? It's making a new color. What color is that? It's orange. And guess what? Orange in French is orange. It's the same thing. That makes it easy. 
So shiny rocks, there you go. I like dipping. We're gonna make all these rocks nice and shiny, like they're glistening in the sun. There you go. Okay, so now we're gonna put the spoon aside and let's try using the pasta. So we're gonna take a piece of pasta like this and we're going to dip this piece of linguine pasta in the green paint. Maybe I'll cut it off a little bit like that. Just dip, whoop, it's breaking, but that's okay. We're gonna dip it in the green paint and then make a print of our linguine, of our pasta, on the piece of paper like that. We're gonna make a nice tall plant on the piece of paper. There you go, just like that. You can make them different heights, just like that. Dip, 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 and press. Dip and press. I thought it would be fun to make a nature scene um, that's a spring-like nature scene because we know that spring is on its way soon. All the snow will be melting and then some of the tall grasses will actually grow again, just like we see here. So we wanna dip, dip and print. There you go, and you can make them, again, some tall ones, some short ones. Yeah, have some fun with it, different angles. All right. Okay, so let's put that piece of pasta aside just like that. And let's try using our cutlery again. So this time we will use, let's try using this fork here. So what we're going to do is you see how this fork has a curve to it there? We're gonna roll that fork in the paint. Let's try with the green paint here. Roll it into the green paint like that. And then, and then we're gonna make, we're gonna add some grasses, some tall grasses or shorter grasses to our plants. Woo, that's fun. I like that. I hope you're having fun back at home. So roll it in the green paint and then press down like that. R dip and then roll it on the piece of paper. Dip, dip, dip. Roll. All right. Dip and roll. And green in French is vert. Green paint is la peinture verte. So there we go. Ooh. Okay, so what should we add to it now? We could also take um, a different fork. Let's try a different fork here, and let's dip into that purple, purple paint. Dip, 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 dip with the fork. Try to roll it again, and oh, here we go. Let's try and make a purple plant over the rocks, yeah. Just like that, you can put some at the bottom of the plants, dip, 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 and then roll it on the piece of paper. Dip, roll, and dip, and roll. There you go. Make these wild purple plants on the rocks. Yeah, okay, there you go. So now we've, we've used the fork to make the base of the plants. So let's put down this fork, and what, what can we add to this painting? So you can follow along with me, or you can do whatever you would like with these, with these um, forks and spoons and pasta pieces. Let's try taking the rotini. See these little twirly pasta pieces? We're gonna try taking the rotini, and just like this, you hold it up like that, and then you're going to, um, let's try using the purple again, violet. Purple. 
We're gonna dip it and roll it, and then we're gonna try to make wildflowers. Wildflowers, whoops. So you dip it and roll it, and then you print it and roll it. Dip and roll, and then you roll it on the piece of paper. Dip, 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 roll. Yeah, like that. That's fun, huh? So we're trying to make some wildflowers, just like that, with purple paint, la peinture violette. Just like that. Keep on rolling it. See how many purple flowers you can make with a rotini. Dip and roll. Dip and roll. There you go. It almost looks like a lilac bush. Some of the purple wildflowers we see around here. Okay, let's put down this rotini piece and try our other pasta type, which is called rigatoni. So you see how you can see right through it? There's a hole in it. You're going to hold it like a stamp. And let's try, um, let's try with red again, rouge. Dip it in the red like that, dip. And then let's make some red wildflowers on this other plant here. Dip, dip, dip. See how many red flowers you can make with the rigatoni. Gonna dip it in the red paint, la peinture rouge. Beautiful red spring flowers, just like that. Like that. All right. So, see how many you can do on your piece of paper? Just like that. So, two of our plants have flowers on them, and it looks like our third one here is missing some, some flowers. So, what could we do? Let's try to take another spoon like this, okay, and you're gonna hold it like, like you're about to eat it, but we're going to dip it in the paint. Um, what could we use here? Let's try to use the, the yellow again. So <clears throat> dip that spoon in a little bit of yellow, and then we're just gonna do a little splat like that. Tiny little cir circular um, yellow, yellow and orange flowers, just like that. You can mix that paint together. You can make them any color you'd like. I have some yellow and some red mixed together, which is making them a little orange. I wonder what this, this wildflower field would smell like, all those beautiful flowers. Maybe it would smell fresh. Maybe there's some wind blowing through the flower fields on a beautiful, Sunny day. There you go. So I'm going to let you continue to use these different found objects from your house and continue working on your painting activity. And while you do that, I thought it would be fun to sing you a little song. But first, I'm going to have to get my ukulele. So I'll be right back. All right. Ta-da, what do I have here? A ukulele. I love the ukulele. So, I'm gonna sing a song that I know you know already, uh, that you heard just a little earlier called The Bare Necessities. But this time, we'll do it in French. Uh, and the words to The Bare Necessities in French are, il en faut peu pour être Heureux, which means uh, you need very little to be happy, right? Um, and just stick with the, the, the most important things in life, like your friends and family and love and um, the most important things. So here we go. 
Il en faut peu pour être heureux, vraiment très peu pour être heureux. Il faut se satisfaire du nécessaire. Un peu d'eau fraîche et de verdure, que nous profite de la nature. Quelques rayons de miel et de soleil. Je dors d'ordinaire. Et toute la terre est ma maison. Toutes les abeilles de la forêt butinent pour moi dans les bosquets. Et quand je retourne un gros caillou, j'essaie de trouver des fourmis dessous. Et c'est, c'est bon, c'est doux. for joining us for the art activities. I hope you have a wonderful day with your families and we'll see you next time. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope you enjoyed it. Arts are a big part of the culture here at SMB School. We're proud to be able to host many events like these in our own classrooms with our artists in residence. If you'd like to learn more about SMB and the programming that we offer, please check out our Facebook page or our website at kcdsb.on.ca.